Hi, I'm SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. The 2015 NFL season is finally here. We are kicking it off with the Hall of Fame game preview. This is not about futures or season win totals or division previews. The individual games have finally started. It's a Tuesday before the Hall of Fame game. Our call-in guest is Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com. Troy West, the NFL season's finally here. Are you pumped? Are you psyched? Couldn't be more excited, Pete, but I am living in the moment. We're on one of our best runs of the year in MLB. Just absolutely kicking ass, but I cannot believe the NFL is right around the corner and we're finally starting to cover one-on-one -on -one game matchups. And hey, you know what, Pete? A lot of people shine away from the preseason. We thrive on it. We think there's a lot of value to be made. And this is really where your research goes in on some of these depth charts and other things that are involved in preseason football. You couldn't be more excited. This is the most excited that you get, Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com. Maybe, maybe you're a stoic and that's part of why you're so successful uh, handicapping. But this is it. This is max excitement for you right now that we're watching right now this is it pete i don't you know no highs no lows you got to stay on an even keel Pete. when it comes to sports betting you and i both know that can't get too big on the wins can't get too low on the losses stay even and we're gonna have another successful nfl season not only with the sbr videos but at our website, allplayswin.com. There you go. That's probably one of the uh, key factors for why Troy West is so successful. I go up and down with every quarter <laughs> of every game that I bet on. Uh, all right, but we've got the Pittsburgh-Minnesota game, the Hall of Fame game. Right now it is Tuesday, so we might get some more information by kickoff. The line might, might move. Right now, Minnesota is a two-and-a-half-point favorite. The total market-wide is 34 or 34 and a half. Why is Minnesota um, a favorite? I'm not exactly sure, but probably, you know, because when it comes to uh, backup quarterbacks, uh, Pittsburgh will be playing guys who have no NFL experience while uh, Minnesota has Sean Hill. So uh, that presumably gives them an advantage. Do I see a lean in this game? I think I do. I think I'm liking the under 34 and a half. If you look at the Hall of Fame games, the last four Hall of Fame games, Three of them have gone to 30 and under, and the one that didn't was two years ago that uh, went to uh, 44. Uh, but that was also looking like it was going to be an under until an explosion of scoring in the fourth quarter. That could easily happen uh, here as well. But I think we're going to see. Uh, I think we're going to see an under. I think there's a lot of uh, you know Pittsburgh got younger on defense, so they're presumably going to be uh, have play a lot of their uh, younger guys getting them reps. There's some competition on the offensive line for Minnesota, and that's probably going to lead to uh, a lot of running plays. Again, a lot of inexperience with the uh, backup quarterbacks. Under 34 and a half. I think we're starting off the year with a winner. What do you think about that, Troy West? I'm not going to go with that. I think 34 is too low of a number. No okay. official pick on the total. My my official pick, Pete. I'm going to go with the Minnesota Vikings mm -hmm. in this football game. I think they're favored for a reason. If you look at this game, it is obviously played in Canton, Ohio. It's in a neutral site. But like you said, Pete, it's all about depth charts when you get to this football game. You look at Pittsburgh, very inexperienced at quarterback. You're going to see a lot of guys like Taj Boyd playing in these right. late quarters. You're, you're, you're not going to see Ben Roethlisberger. I don't, you don't think you're going to see Le'Veon Bell. you got to understand when you get to this point, especially the very first preseason game, veterans are almost non-existent in this. You know, D'Angelo Williams, the backup running back for Pittsburgh, I doubt you'll see much of him. Minnesota, like you said, young, feisty on defense. They've got Matt Asiata, great running back. If he gets some carries in the second and third quarter, I think he could have a potentially a big game if he plays. I just think Minnesota overall, this is a young, fiery team, not to say Pittsburgh's not, but I do think Minnesota has a deeper depth chart on defense. They're more well-rounded at their run game as far as experience, and I like their quarterback situation deeper than, than I do Pittsburgh. And I think that's why Minnesota's favored at that two, mm -hmm. two-and-a-half line, and I think they'll get the job done. Well, the last two years in the Hall of Fame game uh, has had a, you know, the spread's been three, uh, similar to this game, and the underdog won outright. So uh, you don't see this game as roughly a coin flip because, you know, Landry Jones, Taj Boyd for, uh, for Pittsburgh, you know, uh, playing in uh, full-speed NFL competition, they're going to be at a disadvantage. But uh, in this Hall of Fame game, you know, they're, they're going to be playing again at a speed that I think uh, they're roughly familiar with. They're certainly going to be motivated to do as well as they can, right, Troy? No, they will, absolutely. And I just, but like you said, Pete, very first game, I think you're going to see very vanilla from Pittsburgh. Not that you won't see that from Minnesota, but I think Minnesota is going to be able to get a little bit more creative in a game like this where you're going to see Landry Jones and Taj Boyd hand the ball off a lot to guys that you and I had never heard of, Pete, because. They're veteran running backs, guys like D'Angelo Williams. Those guys are proven backs. They don't need to be taking hits in the first game of preseason. Sure. Minnesota, I think, is a little bit deeper in those critical positions in a preseason type of football game. So right now, that's why my, my stronger leans on Minnesota 
And for the sake of records, why not we make it official? Minnesota minus two and a half. Uh, but why, I'm curious to see why you don't like the uh, the under because uh, you know in recent years, uh, you know, a, a score 30 or under has been uh, more likely the uh, the result than not with uh, with the Hall of Fame game. And based on the way you expect this game to go, a lot of running to uh, you know a lot of handoffs to guys that we've never heard of. Uh, doesn't that spell um, uh, under? It could, without a doubt. A lot of people that know me for a long time, including yourself, I'm not much of a totals. Right. Player. I just think a lot can go wrong on turnover side. If a guy like Landry Jones makes one bad pass for sure. an interception, it's pick six, Taj Boyd, these guys could be potentially turnover machines, and that could play to, uh, against the, the total as well. So to me, there's a lot of variables that could play into the total. Obviously, those variables play into the side as well, but I think they take a less in the side, and that's why I like Minnesota in this game. Well, I will kick off the year with an official play. Under 34 and a half is one of the market-wide numbers in the Hall of Fame game. Troy likes Minnesota minus two and a half, and for the purpose of our record keeping, you're gonna go official with that, Troy? Why not? Let's do it, baby. First run of the year. Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com, going official with Minnesota minus two and a half. NFL 2015 is here. I'm Psych. Thanks so much, Troy. Talk to you again very soon.